In this video, we're going to show you how to go ahead and replace your front bumper cover located right on the front of your vehicle. Now on the bottom side here, right on the base of our wheel well area on the passenger side, it's going to be some plastic buttons here holding our lower splash guard to the fender liner. We're going to use our trim tool. We're just going to go up in here and we're just going to pop off the little buttons that are in here holding these together. Ours don't all match, so it looks like someone was already in here playing with these before. We're actually missing a button over here, and we have a zip tie there, or some sort of anchoring strap. We're gonna go ahead and pop that off, remove that, and let's go ahead and do the same for the driver's side. Okay, pop these buttons out here. On the front cross member, we have two 10 millimeter bolts. Across the lower front portion of the bumper, there's a series of seven millimeter screws. Let's get to loosen and remove these. The little retaining clips on the back side here have come loose, so we need to grab that with a pair of pliers. And go ahead and remove those there. Now we get the screws removed. Get to lower this down. Now in the center of these buttons right here, I want to go ahead and push in the center. And do this to the three plastic buttons holding these in place. I'm going to switch over to our trim tool. I'm going to get inside here and go ahead and pop these buttons out. Let's go ahead and release all three of these. And then we'll go ahead and repeat the process for the other side. Now you wanna go ahead and peel back your fender liner. And right up inside here, there's gonna be a single 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead, loosen and remove that. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. On the bottom side here, you want to go ahead and disconnect your fog lights. I'm going to turn these counterclockwise, pop out that light. And up top, up inside, there is your marker light. You want to go ahead and disconnect that harness up top. Now right here on the back side of our bumper edge here, there's going to be a second bolt that we want to get to. It's also a 10 millimeter, so we're going to go ahead and use a long extension, put our socket on there, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. Once this is out, we're gonna repeat it for the passenger side. All right, so now we have this bolt loose. Go ahead and remove this. Across the top of your grill, you're gonna have four of these plastic push pins. You wanna go ahead and use your trim tool. Go ahead and remove those.
Repeat for the other three. At this point here, now that we have all of our pieces of hardware removed, securing the bumper, let's go ahead and grab the driver's side lower edge here. And we're gonna just grab this bumper and pull forward like so. I'm gonna work our way across the top here. Do the same on the passenger side now. Pull it straight forward. And we'll go ahead and grab the upper portion with the grill and just wiggle this off. And set that down. Now on the passenger side, right below the headlamp and behind the impact beam here, there's a connector here. And this connector goes to all of the wires and the harness that goes to all of your bumper lights. What we want to do is disconnect this harness so we can go ahead and continue to separate the bumper from the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a pocket screwdriver and you wanna go ahead and just pry this a little bit here, disconnect that harness. Now we have that harness disconnected, we can remove the entire bumper. Let's go ahead and disconnect our wire harness from our impact pad here. So you're just gonna untangle it from our little tabs here. On the top side of this impact pad here, there's gonna be two plastic clips. And these are actual plastic screws that go into the foam pad. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and turn this and unscrew this. So we're trying to use our Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew this plastic button here but the plastic is fragile and our screwdriver is kind of stripping it out. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab a pair of pliers and we're going to assist the rotation of this. And you can go ahead, unscrew this, remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process for the other side. Now at this point here, we can go ahead and grab our wire harness with our bulbs and our impact pad right here. And go ahead and swing that aside and just set it aside. Now I'm using a T20 Torx bit to go ahead and loosen and remove the two screws for our fog light. When we get to remove these two screws, we'll pop those lights out. I'm going to go ahead and repeat for the other side. We did put some rust penetrant on these screws here to try and help us out in getting those out. I'm gonna press in on the little spring tabs right here. Go ahead and push that fog light out through the front. And there you have it. Now we have our grill insert or lower trim bezel right here. And there's metal clips holding this in. Simply gonna use a screwdriver here or a pry tool. I'm gonna go ahead and just press in on the bottom here, work out this little metal retainer clip. Do the same on this one here. Just gonna open it up instead of pressing it in. And this will pop right off like that. I can go ahead and take this insert, gently pry this up and pop that off like so. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Now on the back side of the bumper here, there's gonna be two metal clips, one here, one right over here. We're gonna use our screwdriver and we're just going to gently just kind of work that metal clip out. I'm gonna be careful not to break these here. Just wiggle that out of place. Give it a couple thumb taps there. Do the same over here. I'm gonna press it in and then wiggle that out. Once you have those clips out, I'm gonna gently push that out and our chrome trim will pop out from the front side. Let's go ahead and install our trim now. We're gonna line up our little tabs here with the notches in our bumper. Gonna line that up. Now 
Now with our bumper trim in place, I'm gonna go ahead and install our little metal locks here. Just press it in, do the same on the other side here. And go ahead and repeat for the other side. And on the back side of our grill, we have three mounting tabs running across the top. Using our 10 millimeter socket, we wanna go ahead and loosen these here. With those loose, that should give us the ability to go ahead and twist these little mounting brackets. As we lift up our bumper, the top of the grill will wanna pull out. Across the bottom, there are three little mounting tabs that lock into the bottom of the bumper itself. So we're gonna lift this up. Grab our grill. We should be able to lift that straight up and out. Set it aside. Now on our side marker light here, what you can do is if you want to, you can go ahead and turn that bulb socket counterclockwise. Go ahead and wiggle that out. Comes out with your bulb, set that aside. When you use a 13 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove this nut right here. I'm gonna press in on this little tab. Push that marker light out through the front side, and there you have it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install our marker light here. Put it around through the front side. Snap that into place. Go ahead and get that little nut on there. Pretty much just want to snug that nut down. Once it bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. And go ahead and take your light bulb here with that socket. Want to get that pressed in. Twist it clockwise and it'll lock into place. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Install our lower unit right here. This lower one here has this little U-shaped clip. Basically just presses right down and on and it locks onto the plastic there. And this upper spring clip will go in from the top and press down, locks into place. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Now installing your fog light, I like to go ahead and pay attention to the front side of it. Make sure that all of the writing is at the top of the lens. Flip that over. You want to have your adjuster screw on the bottom side facing up. Feed that through the front side of the bumper. Press that in and lock into place here. Now let's go ahead and install our anchoring screws. Get this started a couple threads. And let's go ahead and snug those down. Once the screw bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. It doesn't have to be super, super tight. Do the same for this one here. Now you wanna go ahead and repeat for the other side. You wanna go ahead and install the lower part of the grill first. It'll set in and there's little tabs on the back side that catch on the bumper cover itself. Once you have the lower 
part of the grill set into the bumper cover itself. You can now go ahead and access the back side here. And we're going to bring up our retaining brackets like so. I'm going to go ahead and snug down these bolts here. Make sure that your mounting tabs are nice and snug all around. And then you want to flip up the bumper cover with the grill. Just do a quick inspection to make sure everything is seated properly all the way around. Let's go ahead and lower our foam impact pad down into place here. To anchor our foam pad to the bumper cover, we have our plastic screws here. Let's go ahead and install our plastic screws here for the impact pad here. I'm going to just go ahead and snug that in. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. We're going to install our lights now. Pop those into place. Connect our marker light here. Press it in and then press our red lock down. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. And we'll go ahead and bring your bumper up into place. You want to be careful bringing that up so you don't scratch the paint on your fender. What we're going to do is go ahead and hang the upper portion of the bumper on the support. Let's go around to the driver's side and we're going to go ahead and tuck that up into place. I'm going to go ahead and bring the bumper up and fit it right into this notch here. Slide that back into place. Let's go ahead and repeat that same process for the passenger side. Across the top of your bumper area, go ahead and install your push pins here. I want to go ahead and install our filler panels right here. If you notice, there's a little tab right here, and that will actually interlock with this base here once we assemble it. Now, these also have metal clips that will lock in to the top here. So, you want to go ahead and set these down into place. I'm going to interlock the center piece right now, make it a little bit easier. Once that's interlocked, we'll go ahead and line this up. Snap that down into place. Line this up. Snap that down. And we're all set. Let's go ahead and start to install our screws here. We have the forward one here, and then we have the one closer to the back side of the fender. And get that started. Let's go ahead and get the other one in. Now 
Now that we have both of these started, what you want to do is make sure that the bumper itself lines up with the body lines on the fender itself. Then we'll go ahead and snug those down. Once those are tight, we'll go ahead and repeat this process for the other side. We want to go ahead and attach our fender liner to our bumper itself. Now a couple of our plastic buttons had broken, so we sourced out a couple other ones. If yours are in good shape, go ahead and install those. I'm going to go ahead and get mine installed. Once you have these done here, you want to go ahead and repeat this process for the passenger side. Now let's go ahead and take our wiring harness from our front bumper and let's bring it up and we're going to connect that into the body harness here. Press that up, you can feel it in here at lock in a place. Let's go ahead and put our under engine splash shield up and in. With our splash shield in its general location, we're going to go ahead and install the two screws on the back side here. Once we get those installed, we'll go ahead and snug them down. All right, let's go ahead and install our two rear screws here. All right, once we have these two caught, let's go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and install our screws into our retaining clips here. I'm gonna get a few of these started by hand first, then we'll go ahead and snug them down. Go ahead and start snugging these down. You're just going to complete the same process across the whole front side and onto your two edges. You just want to snug those once you feel them stop, then it's pretty much maxed out. And just continue for the rest of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the three plastic push pins on the driver's side. This one here, when you're pushing it in, you might be able to use a flathead screwdriver on the back side just to apply some pressure to the fender liner. Pull that forward, lock them to, together. Once you have these three in, go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. And we'll get these two in here. 
Once we snug this down, you can go ahead and repeat the process for the passenger side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.